for our protection, right? And so we uh, uh, believe that uh, uh, the, the order of the bishop uh, is for our protection. Uh, and we uh, pray that we will adapt well. Uh, and uh, I admire your skills to adapt um, the two different situations as we uh, gather together as a people of God, sincerely offering ourselves every day and ask the Lord to the sacraments to bless us, uh, to strengthen us, and to truly give us new life. We celebrate the dedication of the Basilicas of St. Peter and St. Paul, uh, the Apostles, today. Let us pause, acknowledge our sins, and pray for God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of the holy apostles, that is, she received from them the beginnings of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive even the, to the end of the world an increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw 24 other thrones on which 24 elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass, like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. The third had a face like that of a man. And the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power, for you created all things. Because of your will they came to be and were created. The word of the Lord. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. 
praise him with strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with sounding cymbals. Praise him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia. May the Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A noble man went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in a trade with these until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called to whom he had given the money to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. Then the, ten, the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your co gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why, you, why did you not put my money in the bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by, he said, Take the gold coin from him and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has more will be given, but from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to the Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> My friends, uh, today is the feast of the dedication of the two uh, great churches, the church buildings, basilicas in Rome. Right. So in Rome, there are four major basilicas. Uh, St. John Lateran, we celebrated uh, more than a week ago. And then uh, Saint, uh, the Basilica of St. Peter, uh, where the Pope normally celebrates Mass and the liturgies. And the Basilica of St. Paul, uh, which is a huge basilica, magnificent. Those are uh, the St. Peter's. Uh, was reconstructed uh, 400 years ago and St. Paul's uh, was reconstructed because of the fire. It was reconstructed uh, um, 
less than 200 years ago, but they are still standing very tall and high and magnificent, uh, beautiful, be beautiful basilicas. The fourth basilica is uh, St. Mary Major, uh, to honor our Blessed Mother. Also a wonderful, overwhelming uh, beauty, right, when we step into the doors uh, of, of the, those basilicas. And in the year of mercy, I had a chance to take uh, a big group of uh, pilgrimage uh, people, right? Uh, we uh, made a pilgrimage uh, to the holy doors, right? And that is uh, the way we, we uh, have devotion and receive uh, indulgences through the year, the holy year of mercy. And so we, you know, draw from one place to another as a journey, right? And then, uh, you know, pretty much live together like 24-7 for 10 days to two weeks. Normally, the, the, the trip would take uh, that, that uh, much time. From 10 days to two weeks, we can cover the entire uh, Rome and uh, Italy uh, and uh, move on to the Holy Land, which is a very meaningful, exciting trip uh, for all of those uh, who uh, participated. So pray that when we have the vaccine and all everybody feels safe, I'd l love to organize a trip for all of us, right? Who are interested? Uh, some of you, okay. <laughs> it should be a, a life-changing experience when we truly uh, are encouraged to walk together as a spiritual family and to uh, to open our spiritual eyes to the greater church to the catholic church uh, that we can get to see brothers and sisters throughout the world and feel very proud you know feel very uplifted feel very inspired to go home and do something about our faith you know uh, so it's not only book knowledge it's a, a, a way of life it's the faith uh, lived out every day and so in the first reading we hear about the the vision of St. John was uh, he was taken into the threshold of heaven a beautiful magnificent vision of the heavenly liturgy you see what we are doing here is beautiful yeah if, if I'm, uh, I don't want to say the most beautiful thing that we we, we do every day right <laughs> It's the most beautiful thing that we do today, right? And every day. And then uh, the, the vision of St. John is that heavenly liturgy with God on his throne. And then the celebration of the four symbols uh, as, as the Gospels, the Word of God being, uh, you know, uh, fed. Uh, uh, people were being fed with those words. Uh, and then the image of the four uh, figures that uh, represents the four Gospels. You can go home and read more about those details. It's beautiful. And so, and then the, the 12 tribes, you know, the 12 apostles, all of those uh, remind, remind us that we are not alone on this journey, even in the midst of uh, the pandemic. Whenever we gather, we have together. We have one another. We have the saints celebrating the mass with us you know with the s spiritual eye we believe that we we have the holy trinity here with us we have our blessed mother and all the holy saints and our patron saints with us how joyful it is how uplifting it can be for uh, a, a, a soul that is so affected by uh, a virus uh, uh, you know uh, adaptation and so we live our life uh, uh, the best we can be uh, every day. And the Lord has entrusted to us uh, tremendous gifts and blessings on the bright side. We need to count our blessings every day. You know, this church belongs to you, not to me. <laughs> okay, It belongs to all of us. The office, the buildings, the beautiful ground, perhaps some money in the bank. <laughs> All of those belong to us, and we are called to multiply, right? We don't just keep for ourselves. You don't just care for our own well-being. We call to multiply. In this case, the parable is very forceful, you know? 
the 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 earlier parable in Saint Matthew we heard it was about the the five talents and then the 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 two talents and then the one talents right and then they double the two of them double the other one didn't do anything right in this case three persons uh, each one of them were given one gold coin the first one multiplied by 10 times okay <laughs> the second one multiplied by five times you know one gold coin here is uh, your money master i just made five more wow this is a very forceful and clear message for us that the blessings god has given to us should be multiplied and so whenever we gather in this heavenly banquet in this heavenly liturgy we ask the lord to bless us, to strengthen us, and to really uh, give us uh, the, uh, the the courage and the uh, dedication uh, and uh, the joy of using God's blessings and gifts, multiplying them uh, for the good of other people. We know they have people who are hungry and thirsty for God's word, for God's sacraments, for God's blessings every day now, right? And all the more reason for each one of us to be good instruments, good stewards, multiplying the gift of God. Please stand. My dear friends, as we gather around the throne of God, we humbly uh, offer our prayers and petitions that the church around the world may continue to grow and prosper under the protection of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who govern may be led by the Holy Spirit in strength, courage, and right judgment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that the Lord in His mercy may help all who are in financial need, especially those who have lost employment because of the pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all gathered here may grow in spiritual richness through the grace of the Holy Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord that all who have died, especially Peter Trent, may return to the one who gave them life and worship God on the throne forever and ever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for a special intention of Peter Van Tran, and for our special intentions we offer to God at the altar. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord oh Mary, you always brighten our paths as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O oh, loving Mother, you know what we need. We are confident you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your Son, Jesus, the Divine Physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are attending to the sick and seeking a cure, help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father, to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows, so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands. We become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you through the divine and work of him and hence it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, O Lord, that the truth handed down to us by the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in our hearts through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with the angels and archangels, the thrones and the minions, and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. Sending down your spirit upon them like the do for, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, his brother bishops Thomas and Timothy and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in a peace in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. <coughs> Have mercy on us all, we pray, to with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, 
Blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence in the word Jesus taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant us peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let's share a sign of peace. The hump of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul, for it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us spend this day in peace. Thanks Amen. be to God. We wish you a wonderful day. Uh, please uh, bring uh, extra jackets if you need to uh, with the change of the season. Uh, but uh, we, uh, I'm so happy to see you here and I'm very grateful for the uh, quick response from our staff members and volunteers to just have the mask ready for us uh, immediately. So thank you very much, uh, all staff and uh, our volunteers. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness, the snares of the land. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other evil spirits who prowl by the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. We sing the same hymn, 560. O oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, Rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth. Let all the earth sing with joy to the Lord, all the seas, creatures of the deep, mountains and hills, birds and beasts in the fields, Worship and praise. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of our salvation, rock of strength and a refuge sure. Oh, bless the Lord, the God of every nation, over all the earth.